Hi everybody, it's Scott Smith in sunny Southern California. Got a 2025 BMW X5 50E for you today in the skyscraper gray metallic with the black Sensofin interior. And yes, this one's got all the M Sport packages on it. Code name G05. And um, this is, I guess you would consider BMW's kind of mid-range size-wise SAV SUV uh, model here, the X5. And it was the first one they brought out back in, gosh, I'm trying to remember if it was 2000, when, uh, when I saw, uh, working for them, saw the first X5 an SUV by BMW so but as you can tell with all the attitude on this car great styling with those M Sport packages let's go ahead and show you some of the styling in the back with that altered bumper and then the trim around the exhaust you got a lot of what they call shadow line trim there's your new rear lights just from last year I think it's kind of with that X kind of design both sides nice dark red Kind of fades in with that black shadow line which is really nice there's the the roof racks up top around the window you get that shiny kind of chrome polish kind of look on which i really do enjoy with uh bmw shadow line package included in the you know the bmw m sport packages and the lights here the shadow line lights nice and slim dark full leds but let's go ahead and get into the wheels on this package now this one's got the 21 inch MV spoke bicolor uh, wheels style 915M. Um, definitely staggered, which I'll tell you right here. We've got uh, nine and a half by 21s up front running the 275 series tire. And these are some summer tires on this one. And we've got 21 by 10 and a half running a 315 series on the back. So we got a lot of contact. And then with the uh, 50, E model it is a plug-in hybrid and the BMW X drive intelligent all-wheel drive system is included with this also one thing I really enjoyed on the drive over here and all spending a little bit of time in the car was that it's got the adaptive two axle um, air suspension with self leveling so what's really cool about that with this car you know you might be throwing a lot of cargo a lot of weight in the back of the car and you know that can throw off the balance and the safety and the performance in a vehicle but with the self leveling suspension in this it's going to adjust for that additional weight depending on where you put it and make sure that they've got the car well balanced and leveled out for a nice drive but also look at those M Sport brakes. You got a four piston fixed caliper setup in the front with a 15.6 inch rotor. And then in the back, you got a single piston floating caliper setup, 14.6 inch rotor. So they definitely got some beautiful brakes on here. Now let's get into the dimensions on the car. It's 194 inches long, 79 inches wide, 69 inches tall, Got a wheelbase of 117 inches and you got 8.3 inches of clearance. Now curb weight, you're dealing with 55, 73 in curb weight. Now weight distribution from front to rear, you're only looking at a difference of 2% to the back. Also, one thing about that X-Drive Intelligent All-Wheel Drive system, in regular driving conditions, you're going to see more power to the rear wheels. There's benefits to that, obviously, safety and performance all tied up together. So let's go ahead and have Olivia do some rev time. Let's do some rev time. Let's do some rev time. Perfect. Okay, cool. See what this sounds like with the six cylinder. Not bad, not bad with the three liter inline six in there. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right. We'll have Olivia pop the hood. Check it out. So this does have, hi, how are you doing? Good, good morning. All right, here we go. So this does have a three liter inline six, 24 valve, 
with a twin scroll turbo on it. Now, combined, because we are talking about a hybrid vehicle, we do have an electric motor there integrated with, their, uh, with the transmission. And this is the fifth generation E-Drive technology in this car through BMW. So we're looking at a combined horsepower of 483 um, at 5,000 RPMs. And you got 516 foot-pounds of torque kicking it at 1750 rpms which is great because you're looking at a zero to 60 for this car at 4.6 which is not bad at all for this size vehicle especially when you're looking at the flip side of the efficiency because that electrical motors kind of kicking out about 194 horsepower so it's a great combo between the two when you're looking at 483 and 516 at torque especially with that zero to 60 time with this size vehicle and the weight so you can have that efficiency you're looking for and definitely have the fun fun factor and then also have that performance that god forbid in an emergency situation where you need to get out of the way quickly so let's go ahead and close this up now the battery you actually have in this you've got about 19 kilowatts of usable um, storage and you're looking pure electric up to about 38 to 40 miles per charge so it's really nice if maybe you got a short trip to the office um, you know then that way you can maybe go pure all electric heading there so we are gonna try this hi everybody you can see me in the reflection um, we're trying to do the sticker here but I know with this glass in front of the sticker is just terrible I guess I talk about it about every and then there's my reflection so it doesn't look like much is going to pull up for us on this at least from what i can tell um obviously this car is on bob smith's website just in case you want to check it out but it doesn't look like it's pulling up there's some of your calculations and hopefully you can see the final assembly there. But we do have, I think, all three M Sport packages. We do have parking assistant package, executive package, beautiful 21 inch wheels. And that executive will have the Harman Kardon surround sound system, which is 464 watts and 16 speakers. So let's go ahead and show down here. We got plenty of space back here for Olivia because you're 5'6 without the heels. Yep. She had the front seats where you were comfortable. Is that correct? Yes. And then what do we have up here on the seat? We have little charging ports for and extra the, charging. Yeah, and then you have a place here to do different attachments in case mm -hmm. there's different uh, devices maybe for watching. Or I know we even have a coat hanger that goes in there in case you want to take off the suit jacket. We got the monster moon roof with adjustable lighting. And then let's move over here to the door. We do have some great storage. It's a 28 fluid ounce Owala uh, water bottle put in here. As you can see, it's easy. You can take some big water bottles. You've got some storage, nice wood trim. And then, Olivia, you want to show them the sunshades? Yeah. So, we have our nice little sunshades here. Easy there. Big clips. Makes it very easy to use, very convenient. Yeah, a little extra protection there in case you want to take a nap on a road trip. We'll go ahead and show you the back now. Now something BMW's done since the very beginning, which I thought was really cool, is the tailgate feature. So what I like about it is that it does put a barrier here. So in case you want to throw stuff in the trunk and you don't want to have to worry about it rolling out, you do have a barrier here, probably about maybe eight to 10 inches with that tailgate. Now right now you've got about 33 cubic feet of storage back here with the seats up. And then let's show you, let's show you what the tailgate real quick it's a power push button and it's definitely can you can put some people on it so it's nice as you can see with olivia in case you're at the beach you want to get some sand off your feet before you get back in the car maybe snow boots if you're at the mountain but it's really nice having somewhere to sit where you know you're not hopefully going to scratch anything on the car so then what we'll do let's have olivia drop those seats for you now the cargo cover that's here that slides out but you can take it out and it actually has storage space underneath here. This car right now has the charging cable in here, so, but that security shade will store underneath here and get completely out of the way so you can maximize your cargo space in case you have some big items. So let's go over here. Drop down my side. There we go. And you're talking over 71 cubic feet of storage in here. 
case you got some large items you need to move. And then we'll go ahead, let's put the seat back up. Olivia, you want to show us a few things in there? That would be awesome. Yeah. Cool. So over here we have our center divider, our center console. We got some extra storage in here, as well as our cup holders on this side. A little yeah. sticky today. That's Hard true. with these new cars sometimes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gotta open and close just there a little bit go. there. Yeah, so you've got that. So that's nice. And then if there is four of you, then you can drop down the center here and run stuff through just in case for passengers and you need some length. All right, cool. Definitely like the design on the seats. The sense of fin interior, the synthetic leather is really nice. It's kind of hard to tell the difference, isn't it? Yeah, it is super soft, incredibly soft material, extremely well cushioned. It's very much a comfort and balance of performance as well. It is absolutely amazing. Cool. All right, and there's some of the vents for the rear. And then let's go ahead, we'll just move over here, show you a little bit more styling on the door. Okay, now it does have an 18 gallon tank in this vehicle. So you don't have to plug it in if you don't want to. You can drive it just like a normal vehicle. But I'd recommend every night you get home, just plug it in overnight. And listen, if your electrical company, you know, charges a crazy amount from like 4 to 9 p.m., you can easily set the car to start charging at 9.01 if you want to. Um, you know, p.m. that way to get with lower rates and just ways of saving money. So when you push that upper hatch button to close the top, it automatically closes the bottom. Okay, so let's head over here. Obviously, here's the charging door for you. Now, with this size battery, you can only do stage one or stage two charging, just to let you know, obviously. DC fast charge is not going to work on a, on a 25 kilowatt battery with 19 kilowatts usable. And here's the door design, unlock and lock. You got your memory, rear hatch release, windows, mirrors. There's for the gas door unlock and the gas door. As you can see where the hose is, is on, you could say, on the right-hand side, that's where the gas door is on the right-hand side. And you can see Olivia's purse is over here, easy. So you got some really good storage, great cup holders in the doors, obviously more in the center console area. Now with the driver's seat, You've got a lot of adjustment here. You can see the width adjustment, which is great, huh, Olivia? Mm -hmm. In case when you're out having a blast going through the canyons, huh? You can get a little more cushioning, <laughs> a little bit more support squeezing you in right into that So you're not seat. sliding around all mm -hmm. over the place. Then obviously the lumbar support, inflate, deflate, and then up and back, depending on where you like it on your on your, um, on your your lower back or middle back. And then you can, these are stickers. So the blue is just a protective sticker. When, it's, when you get the car, we'll peel that stuff off. And then, we got some storage in here and it's kind of lined with some nice fuzzy soft stuff so at least you don't scratch things that you might felt. put yeah a little bit of felt in you there keep your glasses nice <laughs> and then here's your steering wheel for you and you can see you got a little bit of blue around the outside of the round dell which is kind of just their indicator for a hybrid electric type of technology a little signature touch a lot of controls on the steering wheel you have your paddle shifters behind nice and grippy thicker, mm -hmm. easy to use, full power telescopic and tilt. Cool. You comfortable? Extremely. This car <laughs> is so comfortable. So nice. Okay, I'm going to close up the door. And then we've got the soft closed doors, which is really nice. So you don't have to slam them all the time. I think that's in the executive package. Definitely a lot of nice things in there. Give you another shot from the outside. So if you don't need a third row vehicle, you like being off the ground a little bit, this is a perfect car. Efficiency, performance, all wrapped up in one. And then with all the M Sport packages, you really get some nice attitude with the car. Let's check out that front end. You got that matte black grille, just kind of gives it a little bit more aggressive styling. You can see there's a lot of vents. <laughs> Well, I thought she was coming forward there for a minute. And then, can you do the turn signal? That turn signal? <laughs> Let's just see if she can do the turn signal. Oh, it's okay. I just thought I'd show you. The daylight running lights are also integrated with the turn signals. <laughs> 
Oh, it's okay. I was just going to have to do the turn signal just so we could show up, but that's oh, okay. It's all integrated. All oh, right. I and you were talking to the ride. I was talking about the ride height. Oh, yeah, that is cool. And then you also have a light bar in here, so you got color adjustments you'll have. Obviously, a lot easier to see at night, but you can see the upgrade on the vents, making them thinner, kind of disappearing a little bit more, adjusting the, uh, you know, the, the uh, directional controller here for it. And then you have your curb display. So a 12.3 inch info display behind the steering wheel. And then you've got all your information here on a 14.9 inch screen. Here we're running iDrive 8 in here. Very nice. Very cool. And then let's go over to Sport Individual. I can hear the exhaust kick in there. And then we have hybrid setup. And then you've got electric individual. So you've got a lot of different things here. One thing I wanted to show you too is the glass controls. Kind of very cool, kind of a nice styling here that you have with the transmission controller, start button, iDrive controller. And you can see here you got the adjustable uh, ride height here, so it's nice. Especially like in the back we were playing with it because there is a, bat, a button on the rear tailgate so that you can have the car drop down so then it's easier to load stuff in. Um, it looks like it maybe drops maybe an inch. I don't know, maybe between an inch and two inches, some other way, at least from what it looks like. I don't know the exact distance. Then you got another charging port in there, lots of storage. Okay, let's get this back into sport mode. There we go, and you can see we got wireless charging, easy cup holders, good storage, very easy to get to. Let's give you another. And I like them. I like the moon roofs in here because they've really got a great light control, so you can adjust the different colors. Really gives it some great aviance at night. Um, and Olivia, where can we follow you at? You can follow me at Lives S4 on Instagram. That's Lives L I V S dot S4. Cool. Awesome. Okay, let's see you have some fun in this thing. I'm let's go for a launch. Please come back and pick me up. <laughs> Not like what was it, last video I did? Boy, she was gone for a while. I thought I had to start walking. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Man, I like that color. Very cool. All right. Nice, wow, <laughs> they just took off. Telling you that X-Drive Intelligent All-Wheel Drive System is phenomenal. Now, one thing I do want to mention, most of these that you'll see, well, obviously in Southern California, you know, we're gonna have summer tires, but you do have that all-wheel drive. So if you're gonna do a lot of snow, I'd recommend some all seasons. Woo! Nice. <laughs> Efficiency and fun factor all wrapped up together. Yeah, you're driving that like your little sports sedan, huh? I like it. It's comfortable. More comfortable than my car, but sounds nice. Yeah, you launched off that. Man, this car took off. That was awesome. I was not expecting that. <laughs> all right, we can head back. Also, I want to thank uh, Bob Smith BMW for letting me shoot this car. Now, they're in Calabasas, California. That's where we are right now, over here on the edge of the West San Fernando Valley on the 101. So definitely, if you guys are looking to test drive or check out any BMWs, they also have Mini Cooper, then swing on by. A lot of great guys there. Scott in the sales department, not me. Um, Justin, another great guy that's been there for a while. So definitely a lot of fun. But yeah, it's one thing I do like about this car is that we're up higher, great mm -hmm. visibility, uh, but you still have that stability and fun factor of oh, a vehicle yeah. that's, you know, that you feel like you're sitting on the ground, but you don't have to. Mm -hmm. This and car feels like it has a lot of control over the power. It has a really nice balance, especially with all the effort that BMW has put into the suspension system on this car. Yeah. You can really tell the difference. 
and you got a four year 50 factory warranty whichever you hit first there's a maintenance package there and obviously everything can be extended um, if you're looking to keep the car for a long time but uh, very smooth yeah I like this with this uh, suspension system that they have in here I know with the the air suspension and with the adjustable ride height and stuff but it's it's really nice it's very very comfortable even with these 21 inch wheels on here you know you've got a really nice smooth ride and it's not huge it's not overbearing it's easy to park it's yeah. a perfect size if you don't need a third row. The car feels super comfortable and it's really quick off the line. I'm, I'm crediting that a little bit to the hybrid component, but yeah. it's just that jump you get off the line is super satisfying. The car doesn't feel nearly as heavy as it looks or as it is. It is extremely comfortable, extremely user friendly. It's an overall great ride. Yeah, and you get that performance of the, the hybrid technology, you know, um, at virtually every speed. You know, if it's an emergency situation or if you go ahead and put it into the sport mode so that you can have more of a reactive type of behavior coming from the car. And here we are at Bob Smith BMW. We'll go swing over to the left. There's the service department. Thank you for everybody for watching. Hey, and thank it. I want to thank everyone for sharing the video on your other media sources out there and stuff. Definitely really appreciate sending it to friends, putting it up on your page, things like that. I want to thank you a lot for doing that. All right, you ready to park it? You ready to get out yeah. and say goodbye? Let's take one more last look at this. Say goodbye to Olivia and the X5. Skyscraper Gray, all the M Sport packages. Bye bye. Bye.